Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are having another lake and this lake is in the city of Chingola in the Republic of Zambia. So basically we're looking at the streets of uh, Chingola over there. So it's a freeway um, just within Chingola. And as you exit on those uh, on those highways, it's going to direct you to uh, Solwezi, which is in the northwestern province, which is another mining region as well. So uh, basically, uh, there is a turn off uh, which heads to Mushishima, uh, going to St. Doroth and then Solwezi further. And then when you turn right, uh, it's going to go to uh, a town of uh, Chililabombo, which we had showcased earlier. So at the moment, we're looking at uh, Protea Hotel Chingola. That's how uh, the vicinity looks like. That's uh, parking in the uh, Protea Hotel yard. And then next to this uh, vicinity is uh, the civic center of the city of Chingola. Chingola is one of the largest cities also on the Copper Belt and one of the largest cities in the Republic of Zambia. And it is considered uh, as uh, the cleanest town in the in the Republic. So we don't know whether that uh, position still stands, but basically it has been uh, famously known to be the cleanest, the cleanest city in the Republic of Zambia. So that's a CBD over there. And one funny thing about the uh, most of the cities in Zambia is they have two categories. The first one is the first class CBD, and then the second one is the second class CBD. So if you look at the CBD of Chingola, basically, the first class is close to the top suburbs of the uh, the city, and then the other one is close to Chuempala and uh, the rest of uh, the other townships. So the first class was meant for the um, Europeans, and the upper class kind of uh, uh, citizens or the considered uh, or perceived at that particular time, and then the second class was for the rest of uh, other people. But that time is over. But when it comes to infrastructure, you could still see those uh, differences, although uh, the infrastructural development has uh, blossomed to a level where it uh, more or less looks the same now. But we still know as a first class and then a second class in most of the cities in Muflera, in Ndola, in. Uh, in um, Kitwe, in all the cities that we've uh, showcased, mostly you're going to find a kind of a, uh, of, 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 of categorizing of the cities in Zambia. So uh, basically, we're still on the vicinity, and this is the Kabundi area, close to uh, the riverside. And uh, Riverside in Chingola is also one of the top suburbs in Kabundi area. It's one of the top suburbs in Chingola. It's beautiful. I've, uh, I've lived in that area in Riverside where I used to visit my aunt in those years when we were doing high school. So it's a lovely and a very quiet uh, a suburban area. So um, you could tell by looking at uh, the above of uh, how the uh, the area looks like. Uh, just this area of um, the Aprochia Hotel itself. You could see how huge the plots are and how uh, beautiful uh, and the greenery that is in the surrounding. So that basically it uh, tells you the story about the kind of a place that uh, Riverside and the Kabundi area is. So, yeah, there you have it. Um, and that's a mall there known as the Park Mall, which is one of the uh, uh, most beautiful malls in uh, the city of Chingola. That's how it looks like from above. And those are the roads. Just look at how beautiful the roads are and how designed they are. They are actually very beautiful roads. So uh, you could see uh, Chingola also has uh, a couple of circles, roundabouts, just like uh, many other cities of Zambia and most of the cities on the Copper Belt. They uh, really like this. And uh, uh, Lusaka as well also have a couple of uh, uh, circles and roundabouts as well. So this is what you expect to see when you visit the uh, city of uh, Chingola. So basically you could see that the Europeans had to invest in a lot of money in uh, the Republic of Zambia, mostly on the Copper Belt and several other cities that they had more interest on. So you could see that uh, they're just not going to put up this kind of infrastructure, all this kind of basics. Look at that, uh, that's Nchanga, uh, Nchanga Hospital and uh, Nchanga Stadium. They're not going to put up this kind of infrastructure if the country didn't have uh, a lot of money. So basically they had extracted minerals and made a lot of profits out of it. And they were capable of putting up and setting up this kind of uh, uh, infrastructure. It's not rocket science to understand that uh, your country has a lot of money in order for you to focus on how you're going to create and put value on what you have. So uh, you're looking at the golf course there, uh, and Changa golf course, and then you're looking at these are the mining regions. And actually, uh, and Changa open pit mine was considered as one of the largest open pit mines on the African continent. 
uh, probably it's lost a position to uh, other mines, uh, but it's still one of those uh, largest open pit mines. So all that was extracted, and then these are the results of the resources and the monies that came from uh, from uh, from uh, the mining uh, production of the Republic of Zambia. So if you're watching for the first time, please consider subscribing. Give us a like and click the notification bell so that you're notified every single time we post a new video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.